everybody I talk to, not everybody, many people I talk to think that I'm mad because I do what I like. My father uh, was a successful director. My uncle, Gerald Thomas, was an editor for Walt Disney, who eventually became the director of the Carry On films, all the Carry On films. The house was full of movie stars. I lived near Palmwood Studios, where I grew up. I had a free walk about the studios, you know. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. My principal role today is as a producer, but I worked in all facets of the film business. And then I went to Australia with somebody and produced my first film. It'll be your money or your life. American Hollywood does not make films about America anymore. It's all left to um, independent cinema to talk about life in America because the industrialized side of the cinema, which is the major studios, are not making films about, they're making films about Superman films, men, X-Men, Y-Men, Z-Men. As long as you've got man on the end of the title, you're in good shape. The UK film business is incredible. But our little country throws out an enormous amount of talent in every area because a very high rate of Oscars have gone to British people in consideration of the amount of people in the film industry. This award from the Academy is a real affirmation for me that independent cinema can be epic and uh, both popular. And I hope that this, um, this Oscar will mean that many, many more people can see this picture in America. Plus. If you want to make a great movie, excuse me, everywhere else, there's only two places to do that, Hollywood or London. Because when George Lucas, even Stanley Kubrick, to quote genius, where did he want to make movies? He wanted to make them in London. There's some great critics, and there's some bad critics. And there's some critics who even write terrible reviews about their films, but they're brilliant critics. It's very difficult showing your film, your first film, on the sacrificial altar of Cannes. I've been there with my own films that I directed and it was a difficult moment. I got a review which said, better luck next time, if ever Jeremy from the London Times. And I sat next to that critic on the plane going back to London after Cannes. So you have to, you have to swallow hard sometimes. Not very nice, is it? No, not very nice. You don't think she deserved it? No. Films that are very badly reviewed, I don't care such as Alexander Walker's review for Crash was a film beyond the bounds of depravity. That's what he thought. He was a strange character who was a very, a very Catholic taste, and it offended him greatly. It offended Councillor John Bill so much, he never saw it. He was the guy who licensed Top Dog Sands and cinemas, and he banned it, and West End is never shown again. I mean, I rest my case. And Virginia Bottomley, who was Minister of Culture at the time, was so outraged. Did you see it? No, I never saw it. So, I mean, that's the sort of thing you have to go through and rise above and use it and exploit it. Tell me a story. All right, what about? About everything. Everything. I choose what I like, you know. But in cinema, that is the most incredible and outrageous thing to do. To me, that's normal, but in the movie business, it's not normal. Why do you want to make a film with Bertolucci in China? I like it. Why do you want to do a film with Takashi Miki? I like his films. So that amazing fact is, it separates me from many others. It's not necessarily to follow everybody else into the most popular, can this be the biggest hit ever? I'm still agitating against what is the norm to stimulate myself to continue doing what I do. I know where the bodies and the money's buried. So, you know, I know where the treasure map is, but many other parts don't.